What's going on guys, Tybreak here, back with another Neo video. And as you can see, my character looks quite different. I have been leveling him up slowly and this game has gotten a little bit easier. It is still extremely, extremely difficult, but it is now playable. So I'm gonna go through a little bit more in depth of things that you can do in this game and just give you guys a little bit of tips. So. First of all, I'm going to talk about this little guy. If you look up in the top left-hand corner, there's that little wolf thing. That is your guardian spirit. If you go to this, any of these prey thing save sections, you can actually change your guardian spirit. I've only been using one, so I'm just going to keep it there. Your guardian spirit, once you kill people, uh, the gauge will fill up, and then if you push triangle and circle, I'm on the PS4, triangle and circle at the same time, it will summon the spirit and you can do a lot of damage so um, and the thing about it is if you die in a certain area you will lose that garden spirit guardian spirit for a little bit until you go and either pick it up again or if you go back to these little praying altars and pray you can actually call him back but I think you might lose some of your um, Amarita, I think that's what it's called kind of like your experience um, It is very similar to Dark Souls. I have not played Dark Souls, but I have watched playthroughs of Dark Souls So kind of like collecting the souls is the same kind of thing if you die you lose them But in this one you can actually go back to the point where you died and if you collect it You will collect all the souls that you had in the in the previous one. So uh, Another tip is every single time you come to these altars and you pray <coughs> Excuse me every time you come to the altars and pray it kind of resets all of the Enemies in the map and in the area. So what I've been doing is I've been basically going through Just a little bit of the area Killing a couple guys getting enough Amarita to come back and level up again So I just keep leveling up. It's a slow and tedious process since it's so hard to kill these guys and since they still do a lot of damage I think the attacks do more like a third to closer to a half damage rather than just one shotting me also you can see that I have armor now uh, we can actually go look at some of the equipment that I picked up so these are all the equipment stuff that I got um, you just kill people and I didn't really know anything about that even I didn't even know that I was picking up armor as I was going along and also I got a little charm as well um, I didn't really know I was picking this stuff up so I was just running through with no armor that's why I was dying so much so now that I have more armor this game is a little bit easier now uh, I think we talked about the little stances on the right uh, the right hand side now if you look on the left hand side you can see on the right the right little square it looks like a little piece of paper that is your Oni magic so if you go every time that you level up you get a little scroll that you can add to your skills as, as you can see I've leveled up my katana stuff quite a bit uh, it goes all the way down there's a lot of stuff you can unlock for your katana spear axe ninja and your magic so as you can see I just unlocked this one it's the talisman fire so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that can do so if you push that you'll see a cool little animation you'll add fire to whatever weapon you're using and on the right you can see the little circle is going down so that's pretty much the, all the time you have to use the magic and it does quite a bit more damage if I can actually hit them so yeah it's pretty easy to get pretty easy to use and once it runs out I'll actually let it run out and I'll show you You can actually, anytime you go back to here, to pray, uh, you can actually see right here, you can choose all the jutsus that you want. Um, there's, there's the ones that add stuff to your weapons, and there's also ones that you can do, like you can throw different ones, and it'll stun enemies and things like that. But once you exit out, as you can see, I got it back, so I can use it again. Um, I'm not sure if you can get more I know you can get more than one but I think you have to level up each one individually so I think in this the rest of this video I'm just gonna show you a little bit uh, of what I've done and how far I've got it hasn't been that far I played 
I don't know, I played for hours and hours yesterday when I recorded the first video and I think I played till 6 in the morning. I think I started at around, I don't know, maybe 1 in the morning and I played till around 6 in the morning. So I put a lot of time into it, didn't get very far, I got all the way um, to on one side of the map, all the way up, down, and down here. I actually dropped this ladder down here. And so now I can go back and forth and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and run through that side with you guys. Show you a bit of the enemies that I encountered. And a little bit more of the tips on how to <laughs> kind of succeed in this game. One thing before we do that. Let's actually kill this guy again. Because you have to guard a lot in this game. And you know do that kind of stuff. There's also different attacks that you can unlock with the little scrolls that give you back more of your stamina or your key. And there's also different like endings of combos like if you push I think triangle on the end of a combo I'll do that little flip thing that you saw. I don't know. Like that right there. And I think it'll actually save you some some stamina and there's all types of different ones that you can get that will give you stamina back if you can time it right for combos like that. But one thing I want to talk about is these other graves. So these are other players in the game, and it shows where they have died. So you can see some of the stuff that they have, the ranking of their armor and stuff that they've had, their level, how they've died. And you can actually fight them. I'm not going to fight these right now. They might be a little too high. But as... So, the, so when you fight it, I think it is a... It, you're not actually fighting the person. It's not a player versus player. It's a... I think the game like gets a generated, takes that character and then attacks you with it. So they show up all over their map. It's kind of a cool thing to see how many people have died in the exact same spot that you've died a hundred times over again. So yeah, I think it's just a cool thing and you can get some of the armor and the weapons that they have had and that they, like once you kill them they will drop that stuff. So let's go ahead and and just take you through a little bit of where I've been and some of the enemies that I've encountered. Alright, so I, I really haven't gotten that far in this game, mainly just because I just wanted to level up quite a bit. And I think I'm going to do that quite a bit more. I don't know how big this, out, this map is in the alpha. I have been watching other um, YouTubers play through this just to see how far they've been getting and stuff like that. And I've been getting pretty much the same thing that they've been getting. So, uh, I basically go down, kill that guy, run over here. If you run kind of around the corner, there's two enemies here, and you will only alert one of them. And then you kill him, and then you can deal with this other guy. Yeah, so... There you go, and I also have been going up here. You can either go right here, but there's I think like two, there's like three guys over there, so maybe we'll do that after, or actually, I'll actually show you once I get that, my guardian thing, dog thing, all full, we'll go over there and we'll kill those guys. Also, there's a guy that drops down here, without really even giving you any warning. So I've been noticing that there are, well, I've encountered three different types of enemies. So there's that, that, the regular guys that we've been fighting so far have been pretty much the regular guys. And then I'll show you one over here. So there's another enemy over here. And uh, I think most people have been calling them, and I'm just going to call them, pretty much the armored enemy so it's a tougher enemy they attack every time they attack they do more attacks so this guy with the sword he'll usually do like three attacks when so the normal guys will do one so you have to block more or dodge more they also have lots of armor so they will take a lot more beating but they will also give you better loot so let's go ahead and I'm gonna put this fire on my blade just so we can fight this guy a little bit easier <laughs> See, he's doing more attacks, and he's a little bit harder to kill. He's not incredibly hard, so 
there you go so he dropped some pretty good stuff i don't know what this purple one is but let's just take that so let's go into our equipment and see what we got we got a spear i think that was from the other one some more katanas so i've been pretty much collecting a good amount of weapons I've been noticing that the durability of weapons goes down extremely fast. Uh, as you can see, the one that I have equipped is 19 out of 200, so it doesn't do nearly as much damage as it did when it was fully sharpened and stuff like that. So I've gotten some other stuff, not as good as what I have on, let's see what else. Ooh, so this one is really good. Let's go ahead and put that on. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. All right, what else? Um, some boots, ah, a little bit better. Let's go ahead and put those on. Those are a little bit better than what we have on right now. So as you can see, I haven't gotten much done, but um, I usually just come over here to the left side. There's usually another guy over here being a little bit cautious. I have been noticing that, um, oh god, alright, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. That you have to wait for the animation of one, either an attack or a block to be completely done before you can keep going. So, as you can see, like, when he first attacked me, I was busy doing an attack, and I was trying to block, but I didn't get it in time, and he attacked me, so... Let's just go ahead and go back and see if we can level up anything and then I sh I'll show you guys a little bit more. Maybe I'll go around the back side and show you the other enemy that I've encountered. So basically this is what I've been doing the whole time. Is I've been killing a couple enemies and then running back to that point. Hitting that prayer thing, saving, leveling up and basically just doing that again. You can get quite a number of levels just from doing that short thing so you get quite a number of Amarita I think that's what it's called so as you can see all of it started out as five I've leveled this up to 11 because I really wanted some more life just so I wouldn't die as much so as you can see all of these do different things let's see this is the magic let's try and do that let's try and upgrade our magic that would be pretty cool and then every single time we level up we get another scroll so if I can do can I do another one all right so I got two on there actually can you do another one no all right so let's go ahead and see do I get another talisman that's what I'm wondering No, so I only get one talisman. I'm wondering how I get more, how I can unlock more of those. Uh, maybe if I go in here. Once you unlock that, you can actually change them in here. So this one's equipped. Let's, let's put that one on. Okay, so now I have two. So as you can see, we'll run over here just to show you guys that this guy is has respawned. So this is basically how I've been doing it. I'm not sure if this is how it's going to work in the regular game when it comes out, but this is what I've been doing just to get started. And okay, another thing that I just that occurred to me that I didn't talk about is when your stamina runs down. Let's see. I'll show you guys. If I run around a lot, it will stagger me and I cannot move. So. Right there, I can't move, can't move, now I can move. So when it gets up just past half percent, then you can start moving in. So you really have to time your attacks and your blocks and everything like that just so you don't run out of stamina and get yourself into a bad situation. So let's go around the other side and I will show you how far I've gotten and the, the other enemy that I've encountered. All right, so when you first come here, 
this will not be open. You cannot go up this ladder because it is too high to get to. And you have to go all the way around, all the way up, and you will get to here. But now that I've, um, now that I've unlocked it, I will go ahead and climb up here, and I will show you guys what is over here. So there is a new enemy type that I've encountered, and he should pop up right around here. Scared the crap out of me the first time. So it is kind of like a zombie. I'm not sure if it's like supposed to be like a demon or something like that, but yes. So as you can see, there's that little thing that pops up that says my sword has damage. So I won't waste anything on it. I have plenty of swords. So let's go ahead and change it out to another sword. I've gotten swords, um, spears, this thing, this kind of spear. I've got a hammer. Let's go ahead and just grab just a... Alright, that, that seems fine. Alright. I kind of want to fight one of these guys, so... Yeah, so basically I've been... I came through, like, all the way from... Was it over there? It might have been over there. Might have been somewhere else. I'm not sure, but... I think around here is when it got a little hairy. Oh yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This is when there was like three of them that attacked me at once. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. Yeah. So, there's different types of them. This one kind of moves fast and low to the ground and it's kind of hard to kill. Um... You'd think that an enemy that's kind of fast would be easier to kill, but it seems like it's just about the same. Um, and now I can't see. Thank you, camera angle, for that. Thank you again, camera angle. Alright, so we got all of this stuff. Let's just go ahead and pick it all up. Uh, there's one more. I think I dropped some over here. Don't want to fight that guy. All right. So, okay, so this is where I came through before, I believe. Oh, what is this? Let's go ahead. Guide Kodama to shrine. Ooh. Okay. So this looks like it's it's doing another shrine or another altar. So this might actually. Ooh, what is this? Okay. So. That might actually be how to unlock other shrines. So actually, I'm not sure if it's showing up on a map or not. I really don't know or where I have to go to find the shrine, but it looks like that there will be other shrines in that one, which will be great because I'm kind of tired of running all the way back to that exact same point just to see the same thing. So let's go up here. This guy was shooting arrows at me when I was trying to get here in the beginning. So let's go ahead and kill him. Yep, so he drops some arrows. Not too sure where else to go. Okay, let's, let's kill you. Alright, so here's the dilemma. Should I go down, try and kill those guys, or should I go back and save? I think I'm gonna go you know what, this might actually be a good time to show you guys the little guardian spirit thing. So I'm going to go ahead and jump down. I'm going to show you. So if I do that, and you see now I have like this badass sword that does a hell of a lot of damage. But it's not very long lived. So as you can see, it already is out. And now I'm running from these guys. Uh, where is the other guy? Nope, there's no other guy? Oh, okay. Alright. So that was like the guardian spirit thing. Uh, I think you, if you level it up, it will be, you can have it do more damage or it can last longer, things like that. 
Um, I haven't tried out any of the other ones. I've just been sticking to that one because it seems to work pretty well. Let's see if we can get this guy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I've been exploring, all I've been doing. I'm not sure. I actually have no idea how big this map is. It seems like it, it might be fairly big, but I really haven't gotten to do that much exploring because I haven't seen any other shrine. So that's kind of the scary part for me. I really don't want to be, I don't want to get really far and then lose all of my stuff. So I've been taking it pretty slowly, creeping out, going back, saving all my progress. So, oh yeah, we already killed this guy. So let's go ahead and get back to there. And I think that's going to be it for this video. Let's see, how much stuff did we get? So the Kodama Blessing. Okay. So let's see what this is. Oh, so I can... Okay. So this seems like the one that I want. So increase the Amrita, oh Amrita, by acquired by five percent. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Cool. So that might have been the one that we picked up. So it looks like there was like one out of nine, uh, and now you can actually see there's another one on the top over there. So maybe this might be the only one the only save point that we have for now because we went and got that guy and he came back to this one which seemed maybe like it's the closest one but um in the next video i might try and explore more see how far i can get in this map see how big this map is for this alpha um my verdict has changed on this game a little bit it is pretty fun um i haven't really wanted to play dark souls because it seems really fun. It's not quite my style. I really like this kind of type of game, this kind of Japanese type of game, which seems really, really cool. So I'm a little more excited now that this game is a tad bit easier. It is still extremely difficult, but it is fun now. So in the next video, we I'm going to do a little bit more exploring, show you guys that stuff. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more content. I will probably be putting this in a playlist with the other Neo episode, so check that out if you didn't see that one. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.